In today's video, I want to talk about the very first God event that I personally ever attended. And I want to share with you how it was so that if you are still hesitating on going to your first God event, that this maybe make it a little bit easier for you. So hello, my spooky bats, and welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, hi and welcome. My name is Orfia and I'm a God girl from Belgium. This video is going to be slightly more ranty, rampy. So if you don't like that type of videos, don't feel that you need to stay. Now, I really wanted to make this video because I feel for a lot of people going to God clubs and God events can be intimidating. So I just want to make it easier and more accessible to you by talking about my very first God event. Now, before we get into the event itself, you have to know a little bit of my backstory, which is that I was going to metal concerts and metal festivals since I was 50. So from age 15 to 18, because that's when I went to my first God event, I only went to concerts and festivals. And of course there were gods there as well. And online, I also was part of Vampire Freaks. And it is actually on Vampire Freaks in a group that used to be called Cult Vlaanderen, so Cult Flanders, because groups were called cults there, um, that I knew about events that were going to happen, etc. And I'm not gonna lie, it took a little bit of convincing for my mom to be able to be like, okay, you can go to Ghent to a God event that you've never attended before with people you mostly don't know. So my boyfriend at the time was with me when I went and my first God event was actually the Nocturna Top 100. And what I didn't know before going to Nocturna Top 100 is that the Top 100 weren't specifically only God songs. So there was a lot of Rammstein and Death Stars in the list as well. Uh, but of course also God songs like Suicide Commando. Um, I can't remember if there was any new wave in it and I can't remember the exact list. But I remember that the music that night was very random. But of course, going to my first God event, I didn't really know what to wear. So I remember wearing just a simple black tank top. I know this was also like August, September, so the weather was still nice. And I'm pretty sure that I wore like a pleated skirt with it, that the pleats were black. And then when they opened, there was skull fabric on the inside. I remember wearing that skirt until I was no longer able to fit it. And then I also think I wore like fishnets and then of course my trusty Converse sneakers, because back then I didn't wear Dr. Martens yet. So I remember knowing that I wouldn't look as goth as maybe some of the other people there, but I also was like, it was what I was feeling comfortable in. It was a mainly black outfit. It was something that I felt cute in, so I wore it. So whenever I got to the actual event, so I had to take the train to get there. So you take the train to Ghent St. Peters, which is the station of Ghent, by the way. And then you walk about 15 minutes from the station to the venue, you cross a park. And already there, you could see like groups of people that were clearly alternative hanging around. I didn't really talk to any of them at the time. Um, and then we actually walked up to the venue and before even going inside, it's actually a very small club that this used to take part in. You had like the entrance area and a lot of people were like standing in front of the entrance, talking to each other, etc. So before I actually entered, I was already like, hey, hi, are you new here? Welcome to your first night. It's like people were so kind back then to me that I immediately felt welcome. So I think it took me half an hour to an hour before even getting inside because I was talking to people about music, about how I got there, why I was coming to the party, what bands I enjoyed listening to. So my partner who was with me at the time spoke French and English and I'm native Dutch and then French and English as well. So I remember him being kind of to the side like, he didn't understand Dutch, so he felt a little bit awkward. But then of course there were other French speaking people, so he started talking to them. So I felt a very big sense of community upon entering that event and even before going inside. Now, of course, the people hosting the event were really nice. Um, I can't remember much about like the people sitting at the entrance, but I remember there being a cloakroom where you could put your jackets, etc. Um, and then once inside you had this kind of dark club and I remember the layout being a little bit weird as you had the dance floor in the middle and then to the sides there were benches. 
they recently changed the layout of that venue so I'm kind of confused like how it used to be but I remember there was like a little raised area where you could sit where now you actually order drinks and then it was different um, but yeah I remember that there were a lot of people sitting but then also people on the dance floor and I vividly remember um, I now know his name I'm not gonna name call any people in this video um, someone dancing like really enthusiastically with cat ears and with a tail attached to their pants and like vivid colors with black and I was like what is this this is amazing so I was really like pleasantly surprised by the variety of people being there I remember there being quite a lot of people my age um, and of course a little bit older as well but I was really pleasantly surprised at how young everyone was there because well before whenever I heard about god music and god events it was always like the new wave parties which weren't really my thing haven't ever been by the way um, so yeah I was really surprised by how young the people were also how much music I actually knew um, that was something that I went in completely blind because I didn't really know what to expect music wise and because it was a top 100 event they actually on the tables had this like flyer that had the songs on them that were actually filled in except the top three the top three was a mystery on the list so that motivated people to actually stay and listen until they knew the top three um, and I remember that there was a very big mix of music like some songs I did know because they were metal songs and then some other songs I had never heard of before and that's when I discovered a lot of music that is nowadays just my comfort zone music which is the electronic gas music which is synth pop synth wave EBM industrial etc so for me that event because of the list I took that list home looked up the songs at home really opened musically a lot of doors for me now I also remember that I felt a little bit awkward dancing so I remember sitting on the benches a bit at first but then the people I talked to outside were like come you know this song come and dance with us so they actually took me with them it was really nice um, even if you would say no they would just be like okay enjoy yourself over there um, but I really love to dance I've always danced as a kid as well so for me dancing is a way of expressing how I feel and it just makes me feel good so I went and danced as well so whenever there were songs that I knew and that I wanted to dance for I was on that dance floor and I remember I was so tired by the end of that evening I think I slept the entire day afterwards um, because back in the days whenever I went out I had to take the train to the event but also take the train home and I think the first trains back home were around 6 in the morning so I really stayed until the end of the event then walked back to the station with a group of people that also had to take the train and then went back home. So my first God event wasn't actually really a God God event the way that they usually take place because it was a top 100 event. Do I regret it? Absolutely not because afterwards I think I went to most of the nocturnas that were taking place and most of the vampire parties that were taking place those were the two events back in the days that I was able to attend every now and then and then of course when I started studying in Antwerp and in Turnhout again which is in Flanders I went to a lot of events at a certain period in time vampire party was happening every two weeks instead of once a month and I remember being at almost every single one of them for about a year or so and the music is and has always been my main focus when going to these events but then of course seeing other people dressed up pretty makeups etc motivated me to also start putting more effort into my appearance and that is also when I started my blog and eventually my youtube channel about makeup and about the products that I enjoy using and I started experimenting with my look a lot more so by itself that event maybe wasn't as important because it wasn't the best night ever and it wasn't like the best music ever but it started me going to more and more events because I loved it so much and the people were so kind over there and that is what I will always remember from that event is how sweet and how kind and how inviting everyone was so if you're ever scared of going to a god event because you think there will be gatekeeping don't be afraid most people there will be super sweet super kind very inviting ask them the questions you have because it's a party for everyone also for you going there but also for them and yeah if you're inside and like most events where you go 
DJs don't have the opportunity to use a beamer or something to display the songs that they're playing, afterwards they will most likely post their playlists on the event pages. So if you plan on going to an evening and you want to check out the music that has been previously played, feel free to go and look at previous events and check out the playlist there so you can prepare a little bit better. But on that note, I'm going to make a totally separate video on how to prepare for your first god night or in general for going to a god event. And I think in that video you will recognize a lot of tips that come from this video. To this day, I am still friends with a lot of people that I met at my very first goth night. I even started organizing a goth night myself in that exact same location X amount of years later. And I really regret that Nocturna is no longer around because despite some of the flaws that the event had, it was still really nice to have something to look forward to in Gent and to be able to go and party, of course. And I'm not gonna claim that this goth event was like the best event ever that I've attended. No, absolutely not. There were way better additions afterwards from different events as well. So I will always keep very fond memories of my very first goth event. I felt like I was just being welcomed into the subculture. Now back in the day we're talking when I was 18. Um, it was a little bit different than nowadays, of course. There were a lot more events happening. The community was way more active. There were also park meetups, etc., that nowadays just simply don't exist anymore. We barely have like a fraction of the events that were happening back then. And the scene has not died out, but it's like on a very low basis nowadays. So I get that it is more difficult to find events and to attend events. Um, but yeah, that's how the world evolved, unfortunately, and I hope that there will be some sort of revival pretty soon as well. Should you want to share your own personal experience on your very first God Night, feel free to do so in a comment down below. And in one of my future videos, I will be sharing with you some tips and tricks on how to prepare for God events if you want to attend them yourself as well. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a big thumbs up. And of course, if you haven't already and you'd like to be, feel free to subscribe to my channel. I make new videos every week and I would love to have you here for every single one of them. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you very soon with a new video. Bye!